Hi, another uh, way of addressing is a manual addressing uh, the fill down addressing in script window. There you have more control of what the system is doing or what are you doing, and I explain you in the next minute how you're gonna do it. Addressing the show manually by typing in numbers and filling down is a manual approach to addressing that gives you the ultimate control over the addresses. Because you can set them to anything you want. You also have control over whether the sequence is allowed to reuse pins assigned earlier for effects that could be combined on the same pin. This method of addressing is used mainly for tricky situations in which your criteria for addressing choices are difficult to spell out. The basic idea behind this approach is that you a. sort the script table window by clicking on the column headers, or shift click to add multiple sort criteria, for example, sorting by position first, then by size. Then, b. select a range of rows that could be anything from a single row to the entire show. Then, c. do addressing using the fill down addresses in the script window function to assign an incrementing sequence of addresses to the selected range of rows. Let's do some practice here. Go to the script window and sort your show for position, then size. To add the size to the sort order, make a right to the size column header. From the up popping context menu select add this column to sort criteria. Then select some rows that you would like to address. In our case select the rows of position A1 and some of A2. Now go to addressing and select fill down addresses in script window. The upcoming dialog looks familiar to us, only the section for sorting is missing, because we did that already in the script window. The other difference is, that we can set the start number for the module and the pin here now. When you enter some settings for constraints here, the sequences of addresses will automatically skip to the next module or slant based on these conditions but of course only for the selected rows. We use nothing special here, so just press enter. Now look at the result. You see, only the selected rows are addressed according our rules, so there is nothing special here. Let's repeat that and select a few rows of position A2 that are not addressed now. Open the addressing dialog for fill down again, but select another module type this time. Also recognize that the module number is also set to the next free number. Press enter to address and look at the result. Everything worked as expected, but please recognize, that we now have two different module type on position A2. That is not possible with the other addressing functions. So, let's look at the advantages of this addressing method. You have full control even for complex scenarios. You can put more than one module on a position. You can skip pins on modules, for example when they are damaged. But you also have the following drawbacks. Changes in the show require a new manually addressing. There is no error checking for duplicated modules or pins. You have to check it manually with functions that Finale is providing. You find it in the menu selecting addressing, then troubleshooting.